Hey boys, it's Arm None. Today we're going to be customizing the Bravado Buffalo S in GTA Online. I'm here at the Arena Workshop just because that's where I'm storing this car right now. And I didn't feel like bringing it to my office garage. Uh, but anyway, let's hop right in here and uh, see what we can do. So I really like this car. Um, I've been requesting for a long time now that Rockstar adds an updated version of it. A Hellfire version of the Buffalo S or the Buffalo. Um, I think that'd be really cool. Get a Hellcat version of this thing. I think that would be so sick. And uh, I really look forward to Rockstar hopefully doing that in the future. But who knows if they actually will or not. Starting off, uh, I've already got this car upgraded. So the armor brakes, engine, all that stuff is already done. But the bumpers and everything like that, everything cosmetic, that's what we're going to be focusing on today. So let's get right into it. Starting off with the bumpers, we're going to go for the front bumpers. We have a custom front splitter, carbon front splitter, painted front bumper, painted bumper and splitter, painted and carbon splitter. Hmm. Um, honestly, I like the custom front splitter option I think maybe just stock I don't know you know what we're gonna keep it stock for right now the rear bumper we can go with a custom rear bumper or a sports rear bumper um, yeah the sports rear bumper is definitely the best looking out of those so I'm gonna go for that one for the exhaust we can go with a dual exit big bore dual titanium oval exhaust or a race exhaust the race exhaust looks the coolest in my opinion, so we're going to go with that one. For the grill, we can do a black grill, chrome open grill, black open grill, or an exposed intercooler. Um, I think we're going to go with the black open grill. I like that look the best. For the hood, we have the options for a vented hood, ram air hood, carbon hood, carbon vented hood. Um, I think we're just going to go with... The vented hood. I like that the best, honestly. The headlights. Now, this is the interesting thing about the arena workshop. You can actually get different colored headlights for the car. So I was, I, I kind of have an idea in mind of what I want to do with this car, and I think I want to go for some red headlights. But we do have a lot of options here. But yeah, I think red is going to be the one we're going to be going for today. So let's do that. $53,000, boys. It is pretty expensive if you do want to do that. So I would advise against it unless you have a lot of money. For the respray on the car, I'm not sure what color I want to go with here. Maybe like a dark red? Mm, I don't know how I feel about red actually. Almost want to, ooh, I almost want to go for like a gasoline green. That's pretty mean looking. At the same time though, a gray could also really suit the car. Like a dark steel. Let's try a dark steel. Let's do the secondary as dark steel as well. Interesting, okay. We could put a roll cage into this car. Um, I personally don't love it, so I'm not gonna do that. Um, for the roof, we have the option for a sun strip or carbon roof. We're gonna go with the carbon roof just to break up the color a little bit. I think it looks pretty good. For the skirts, we can do custom skirts or we can do carbon skirts. Um, we're gonna we're gonna go with carbon skirts, why not? For the spoiler, let's add a ducktail spoiler probably, but let's see the other options just in case. Mid-level spoiler, carbon wing, GT wing, or a stock car wing. Ooh, the stock car wing is actually pretty mean looking, but is it the same as the ducktail pretty much? It's just an extra raised ducktail. Hmm. I think the ducktail is just cleaner. We're going to go for that one. For the suspension, we can lower this thing quite a bit. Lowered, street, sport, or competition. Uh, you get a fair bit of distance uh, if you go from nothing to competition. So we'll do that. For the wheels, um, I think I want to go with some street rims. And I just don't know which ones I want to go for. Um, there's a lot of options. Might go for my favorites, uh, the new ones. I think I actually will. I like those a lot. For the wheel color, I kind of want to go something a little bit different. Like maybe... Hmm... I want to go for like a bronze, almost like a copper, sort of like a dark copper, dark ivory, dark brown. Mm, not dark brown. Oh, bronze. Bronze looks mean. Um, let's go bronze, uh, I think. Yeah, we're going to go for bronze. A little bit different today. 
for the tires we could put a tire design on these um i don't really love the look though so we're going to avoid that right now and for the windows let's tint those all the way out this thing's looking pretty good i feel like let's uh let's take it out of the arena do uh do a little test drive a little sound test and uh yeah i'll let you guys know what i think i'll let you know if you should buy it or not so to start off with let's do a sound test This thing actually sounds really good, to be honest. Might have to add this to my best sounding cars list. We'll see. Um, so starting off, I mean, it, it's an older car. Um, it's been in the game since release. Obviously, it's Franklin's car, if you didn't know. Um, the same one that he drives in the campaign. So kind of cool. Um, it has a lot of grip, actually. But it has a bit of understeer, which is a bit of a downside with the car. Um, it, it does feel pretty heavy, I have to say. Um, I really like the car a lot. Um, so just so you guys know, I'm not just, you know, being biased against it or anything like that. I actually love this car. But um, it definitely does have some understeer. It definitely does feel heavy. Uh, despite that, it is pretty quick um, in acceleration. And it's got a pretty good top speed as well. And the handling, with the exception of the understeer, is pretty good. Um... The understeer kind of makes the car, like, it kind of just leaves a sour taste in your mouth a little bit. Um, but at the same time, it doesn't oversteer um, terribly either. So it's kind of nicely balanced. I wish it was a little more towards oversteer rather than a little bit more towards understeer. Um, that would definitely help out with the car, I feel like. Um, honestly, not really any complaints. It, it drives pretty good. Um, it's, it's really not a bad car. Especially for the price, I believe this thing is either just under or just over $100,000. I think it's actually about ninety-eight, if I remember correctly. Um, but honestly, if you got the money, boys, this thing is a solid car. Um, and it's not something you see every day either. So if you want to go to car meets and stuff like that, this would be a solid car to take. Um, I, think, I think you'd probably get a uh, pretty positive reaction from the people there. So um, yeah, and you know, it's, it's a pretty good car. I'd, I'd say... I'd say I recommend it for sure. Um, anyway, guys, I think that's pretty much it for the customization and the review today. Let me know what you guys thought of my customization in the comments. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video. Leave a dislike if you didn't. Subscribe if you guys are new. And I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, take care. Peace.